It was the middle of the night. This was a breaking point. His last hope. I really can't truly understand how people would get there. That's sad. Before he planned to end his life. I could sit there and cry in front of you right now thinking about that. But that call came with a roadblock. 911, where's your emergency? Is there like a suicide hotline number you guys can provide? And I call it and I just got put on hold. And I was put on hold for 20 minutes. Um, that really makes you start to think, holy smokes, this is not my day. Put on hold, he says, while he prayed someone would give him a reason to live. Meanwhile, he planned his death. I had my mind made up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. Kevin Birch made it through the night, but his anxiety attacks persist. I'll be all right, just let me breathe. More than a year of the pandemic left him without a job. He used to sell cable Gosh. and internet. COVID-19 has prevented that. Your business dwindles down and down and down and down to where it's literally nothing at this point. And finding a job has its own challenges. I can't go driving around because the tags are expired. Um, I don't have car insurance. My license is uh, past due and it takes money to get those things, and I have no, no source of income. He says unemployment payments just stopped coming in September, and hundreds of calls to state agencies. Your call is very important to us. Have been unsuccessful. It just rings and rings and rings. But among the worst punishments, he says, has been isolation. The socialization, that's been the awfulest thing, is not being able to go to uh, you know, a restaurant with your buddies and just talk, you know, and have fun. We definitely have seen an increase in calls related to the unprecedented pandemic situation that we've all been through. Geneva Robinson is the director of the Louisville area's crisis line at Seven County Services. She's also a survivor. In my younger life, um, I dealt with my own severe depression and um, I did make several attempts on my own life. To relieve her emotional pain, she takes medication every day. And will for the rest of my life and devotes her life to showing others that in their darkest moments, help is within reach. Our services are available 24-7, 365 days a year. So we are um, available to provide services around the clock to folks at any time that the need comes in. But she says that need has never been greater. We at the height of the pandemic saw over a 40% increase in calls to all the lines that we answer. Which is why she says it's disheartening, but not surprising Kevin Birch was forced to wait when he called the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Each call. How can I help you? Gets routed through more than 180 crisis centers around the country. It goes through a national call switchboard, if you will, that tries to find the next available open phone line for a trained counselor in their network of centers. But on the night Birch called, it took much longer than usual to find one. So far this year, the average pickup time for Louisville's crisis call center was around two minutes. A typical call lasts about 15 minutes. Crisis and information line. Calls have not only increased in frequency and length during the pandemic. So many more people are finding themselves in a position where they need to reach out for help. But they're also more intense. We have um, a number of folks who have called us who actually have loaded guns in their hand and they want us to give them some reason not to go ahead and pull that trigger in that moment of pain. We've had people call who have already taken an overdose of medication and they just want someone caring to listen to them and to be with them while they die. Do you think COVID has opened our eyes in some ways about the need for mental health services? No question about that. It's why Kentucky State Representative Lisa Wilner, a licensed psychologist, supported legislation this year to make mental health a higher priority. Among the bills she advocated for that have been signed into law, House Bill 140 expands access to telehealth. I think it really is um, going to revolutionize the way people are able to access mental health treatment. House Bill 50 mandates insurance companies cover mental health and drug addiction the same way they cover physical illness, like cancer and heart disease. We need to make investing in people, investing in emergency services a very high priority. You want to come out? For now, come on. Kevin Birch you just tries call. to make it through the day. I hope it's a moment I never go back to. Hoping someone returns his calls about unemployment benefits. Walk on this side. Hoping he'll find Stay a job fine. again. I haven't had any significant income in forever. Stay. And hoping that if he revisits that dark and painful moment, Good stay. someone will pick up.
If you are struggling with depression and thoughts of suicide, know that you're not alone. We as a community care about your life. Here are some local and national resources to help you. To contact our local crisis line, call 502-589-4313. To reach the National Suicide Hotline, call 1-800-273-8255. These resources are free and you can access them 24 seven. Counselors say if no one picks up within around three minutes, hang up and keep trying. For Focus, I'm Paula Vassan.